Hey, hi everyone. So, uh, I had to put the shirt because uh, I'm already pretty brown and it's just cooking right now. And we're not even the summer yet. When you get to the summer, it, oof, and I don't want to burn and cancer, whatever skin. So I was doing the tilling and then uh, as some of you knows, uh, I know lots of stuff about wildlife. I've been in the bush a long time and did lots of stuff and nesting and uh, on the ground or in the trees and whatever. So I always try to uh, check ahead of me to see if I see it. when I do some work in the orchard or whatever or when I'm hunting for snake or, or uh, whatever. I'm, uh, I'm always trying to check ahead a little bit because uh, when, as you get close to a nest or something the bird are kicking out and they're gonna take a different direction so you don't find the nest. Eh? So I'm used to that. I got, I got a good eye for that and everything. So uh, this one here, she stayed in the nest a very long time because the machine is right here. The machine got right to there as I was coming in and then I saw a bird coming out of this place here. So, and uh, it's a quail. So uh, I know that quail nest on the ground and uh, if she stays so long in like close to me, he had to have a nest. He had no choice, he had to have a nest. So uh, I stopped. And then she escaped down there, and then uh, she's down there somewhere. And then uh, the female, and then uh, she stayed a long time. She almost got squished. And then, uh, so uh, I knew right away that uh, I had a nest or something. So uh, I stopped, stopped the machine, and uh, went and checked. And I'm gonna show you what I what I found. So I'm gonna put some flags so I don't uh, I don't come back on the other side, and I'm gonna. Uh, uh, destroy it. Eh? I don't want to destroy it, so I'll put a few stick around it and uh, I'm pretty much the only one that do the tra tractor work here so it uh, should be alright. I'll, I'll remember. You, uh, usually in the vineyard I find some uh, kill deer nests too. They're very ha hard to see because the the color of the of the uh, eggs is uh, pretty much the same than the ground. The, the sand and all that stuff. Eh? Okay, so I'll go show you where it is. Like. Uh, she stayed there a very long time. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. She just escaped before the wheel touched her. You see, that's what I... I did a video on it. I haven't put it yet. I don't know if I'm going to put it before or after what I'm doing right now. So, Okay, so I started looking around and then... Uh... Okay, I'm going to get that back up. Okay. Right here. See, I'm going to lift that up. I'm gonna get out of the sun so you can see it with with the sun. Look at that here. Yeah, so me do See all that stuff? I'm gonna move out some stuff because it's getting I barely I don't even see it in the viewfinder. Okay, right here. See? See all of those eggs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15 eggs in there. Look at that. See, eh? So she was right hiding under here. 15 eggs. Can you imagine? But uh, they have uh, lots of eggs like that. That's just because uh, they get eaten by the coyote, they get eaten by the, the baby and the, the mom and dad too, but like the snakes eat them because if they found a nest, the nest is going to be uh, eaten up right, right away. Eh? So you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen eggs. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of baby. But uh, when they actually, you see them all over the place in the desert and in the orchard, and there's so many of them. Eh? The, the lots of people uh, are saying that uh, if you touch the eggs and uh, they won't come back and nest on them and all this and all that. And uh, I don't know me. Uh, since I've been a kid, I've played with nests and eggs and babies and everything. And the mom always came back to uh, take care of them so so uh, I think it's just a myth that thing because as a kid I was in nature all the time and I always play with the nests and play with the eggs and take the baby in my hand as soon you leave mom mom comes back so so I'm gonna leave those guys here I'm gonna bury them again as they were under that stuff and then I'm gonna put a bunch of uh, 
I'm just gonna put that down just for See, so just by looking ahead, I just save a whole bunch of baby. See, he was, he was right hiding under there. So, I'm just gonna put all the way back in. Yeah, mom is back there, so. Anyway, I'm gonna put that, she had a hole here to get in. So, I'm gonna see how buried it is. You don't see nothing. You cannot see. If you don't have the eye for it, you'll never find those nests. Even the robin or or any kind of bird that nests in a tree, you have to, to have the eye at it. Or it's gotta be very obvious. No leaves and no, uh, no branch hiding it, then you'll see it. And lots of them too in a desert. Uh, I did a video on it when I was snake hunting and stuff. Well, snake, not really hunting, but uh, looking for snake. And I found one under and uh, uh, no, I found one in the tree. Uh, those are raven pa passing across if you saw the shadow. Uh, I found one in the brush, in the sagebrush, and then uh, it was so pretty hidden, like you can, you couldn't see it at all. I saw it because I'm six foot tall and I was above it, and I saw the mom from far away. I saw, I saw the mom escaping from the back, and then going left. And then I figured out by the way she came out, she, I saw her first, and the way she went out, I kind of knew where, where, where the nest was because they will try to uh, go the different way, like the kill deer, the kill deer as I was talking in the, in the vineyard, they would fake a broken, a broken wing, so you're gonna follow her and then uh, she's gonna take you, uh, uh, take you away from the nest. Eh? So. Anyway, the one in the sage, it was the, the, the bird, I don't know the name of the bird, but like anyway, it's a, it's a small bird that live in the desert. And what the, what the mom and the dad did when they built the nest, they built it with, uh, with uh, grass and all that stuff. And, uh, and uh, when, when they finished it, the whole surrounding, the outside of the nest and the top of the nest was all sage, brand new sage. And the way I can see it, they were fresh sage so i guess they trade them when when they dry out so so uh, they they don't get the uh, notice see eh? so so you see you cannot see that nest you cannot see anything down there I'm just gonna show you again i got the camera in my hand see you cannot see absolutely nothing in there so anybody is gonna pass beside it will never see it you'll never know that it's there so i'm just gonna lift it up and you're gonna see it again where was it? Right down here. Oop, sorry. Right there. See? You don't see it. There's 15 eggs in there. They have lots of baby because you might have one or two that are going to survive to an adult. Because they're going to get uh, eaten. And when they're born, after a few hours, they can fly six, eight, ten feet away like the like the part well, not partridge but the, like the gro the grouse same thing as soon they're born they 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 have a bit of feather and they grow right away and then they can escape so uh i'm gonna put the something in here so mom can come back see you don't see anything under there anything so i'm just gonna put a bunch of stick so when i come back on this row i'll know that it's there thanks guys okay let's go have a little look because yesterday I was saying that uh, it was a myth that uh, the bird will uh, abandon their nest if you touch the egg and everything. And I was working today and uh, mom was still there. So I don't know if she's there right now because she's going to eat too. But I'm going to go right there and check it out. Okay, which one was it? This one here. Because I was working today and she was right there. You see? She's right there. See? She stayed right in the nest. She's right back there. It's a quail. See? So uh, it's just a myth, guys. If you think that they're not going to come back, they will come back to their nest. Even if you touch the egg, you touch the baby. See? She's right back there. She's escaping under the tree right there. Let's see if we can see her.
there right there. She's talking. That's the male. Oops, sorry guys. Just trying to figure out what they are. That's the male that was yelling there. So they're down there both, the male and the female. So uh, you can see she jumped right in my face. She stayed there until I was right in it. So so they they won't abandon their kid. The, uh, the, the only reason they will it's when they get eaten or something happened like that, then they will. Other than that, they won't. They'll come back to their nest, to, to their eggs or the baby.